In this video, I'm gonna be doing a full breakdown and overview of everything I've done on my C8, give some of my thoughts on the new 2024 E-Ray and how it's similar to this one, and answer the question, should you get an E-Ray, Z06, Stingray, or get a Stingray and mod it, or maybe a Z06 and mod it as well, or an E-Ray and mod it. So we've got a little bit of a full out comparison here. Let me know which option you would choose, um, and I'm just gonna give my raw thoughts and opinion on this one. Let's get right into it. So, 2020 C8 Stingray modded. I'm gonna go over first off all the mods that I've done, mainly the mechanical stuff, show you what that looks like. Then I'm gonna give some of my thoughts on the E-Ray and you know, see if you should mod the E-Ray, get the E-Ray. I don't even know if it's possible to mod it. Cause imagine if you could put the same mods that I've got now on the Stingray on the E-Ray because the engines are the exact same, um, at least in the back, right? Same 6.2 liter V8 Outback. The only difference with the E-Ray is that you've got that electric motor right out front sitting right behind the front trunk that gives it that E all wheel drive, powers just the front wheels, but everything out back is the same, the exhaust system, the transmission, the engine. So what if you could mod that E-Ray to get it even more powerful? I think the biggest thing with the E-Ray though is the weight, but I'm gonna get into some of that a little bit later. Um, there's also obviously the Z06, the fully track focused monster, but uh, let's talk about the stingray that i've got what i've done to it and if that should be an option that you should consider as well okay this is where i want to put my main focus of everything here we've obviously got the stock 6.2 liter v8 right here um, this is obviously a hard top convertible but i have changed a couple things got this clear cover on um, and then i put the carbon fiber engine cover on there just for car meets and stuff it's just really cool um, and just to be able to see all of it then on top of all that We've got American Racing headers. You can see them right there. Um, and then we've got the cold air intake from Haltech. We've also got a uh, attack blue air filter in there, if that makes a big difference. And then the stuff you can't see, but it's in there, is a ported intake manifold and a throttle body as well. So all that's in there, custom ported manifold by um, Action Auto Care, Carlos and them down in Naples, Florida. Did that for me they've been running it on their car and it has resulted in some really good stuff obviously we've got the um solar performance throttle body as well which is right there and then the hall take cold air intake that's not stock back there and you can kind of see the header so that's kind of what we're working with here i think overall right now power wise and i'm just gonna pull up everything that i got we're right around 590 to 600 horsepower maybe a little bit less and around 570 pound-feet of torque so obviously the torque is way past what the z06 is because the z06 with that flat plane crank it's not the best with um torque and this one just outdoes it with the push rod v8 similarly to the e-ray which also has a lot more torque because of the electric motor and then I've also got the Z06 style wing now, which was the last thing that we did, which was super cool, but it was really tough <laughs> to install. But that's kind of what we're working with right, right now, and looks pretty awesome. I'm gonna close this up. I'm gonna go to the backyard, talk about some numbers, and kind of just give my general ideas and thoughts around the E-Ray and whatnot. So let's go do that real quick. 
Okay, so first let's just break down what's going on on the E-Ray. I've got some info pulled up over here on this computer screen and I'm just gonna kind of walk through it and then give my initial impressions, what I thought when I first saw it. So it is um, E all-wheel drive, meaning that we've got the 6.2 liter V8 in the back, just like the Stingray. Everything back there is basically the exact same as what's inside of the Stingray. Same exhaust from what I've heard, um, the same transmission. Everything back there is basically the same. The difference is up front, we've got the electric motor, which combined now gives it a combined horsepower of 655 horsepower. There's a 2.5 second zero to 60 um, and a 10.5 quarter mile time, which is crazy. Um, with the electric drive unit up front, as we can see here, as I kind of flip through some of this stuff, it's a 1.9 kilowatt hour battery. Um, and once again, it drops that down by about half a second improvement in a zero to 60 time compared to, you know, the Z06 or even the Stingray, right? 2.5 seconds, zero to 60, that extra half a second on the Stingray gets it around 2.9. So it's actually a little bit better, um, you know, more than that. And with that, the actual electric drive unit itself spits out an extra 160 horsepower. So you can see here in this little graph that uh, the electric motor spits out 160 horsepower. The engine horsepower is 495, exactly like the stock Stingray, and that gives it a combined total of 655 horsepower. So this is really awesome. When I first saw it, I thought it was really cool. It's got the body, uh, the body style of the Z06. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like you can get that Z07 style wing, and that's probably one of the biggest things I really enjoyed about the Z06 is that wing. I mean, I put it on my own car and I thought it looks awesome. Um, I really like that part, so that would be really nice if you could add that, but I understand they're trying to differentiate it. This E-Ray is basically slotting in to the place of the Grand Touring in previous generations. So in previous generations, it was the Stingray, which is the base model, right? Then from the Stingray went to the Grand Sport, which is more of the Z06 uh, body, um, add-ons, aero, stuff like that, look and feel, but the engine was that of the Stingray, and then the Z06 obviously was the full track capable thing, and then obviously the ZR1 was the top of the line. So with this, um, it's kind of placing, slotting right in into the um, Grand Sport spot, right? And I think that kind of makes sense, right? Because this one, they're definitely advertising it as all-wheel drive, because it is, it can go and be driven anywhere and anyhow in the snow, rain, cold, warm. They're advertising it as if it's very, very usable um, and it can be used, right? Then you have this option here, which is the ZER performance package. So if you want higher performance, it looks like it says it comes with the Pilot Sport 4S's, which is stock in the Stingray. Those are the summer only um, performance tires. They're not the Sport Cup 2Rs that come on the Z06, but they're the 4S's, um, as well as chassis tuning and other performance enhancements. So I, I wonder what that actually is. I haven't heard much about that, but that's pretty interesting. I'm assuming it's probably something very similar to what you get with the Z51 in the Stingray, um, and very similar to what you get with the Z07 package in the Z06. So that's super interesting as well. Um, obviously, the interior is very, very similar um, to what you've got in the Stingray, the Z06. Um, everything looks basically the same on the inside. You can either get full carbon fiber, part carbon fiber, I'm sure, or none. Yeah, just like this one right here. Um, so super cool stuff. I think it is really awesome that they've done this. Um, and obviously you have the three trim levels of the 1LZ, the 2LZ, and the 3LZ. I think the electrified Corvette is really cool. This is definitely first ever thing that this has happened. Here are kind of my initial thoughts of like, one, if I would consider getting one, if you're thinking of getting one, what my thoughts are, um, and just overall. So I think it's really cool. The biggest thing though is gonna be the weight. Those batteries that are actually in the center tunnel um, kind of right where the air conditioning and stuff is, that's gonna add a lot of weight. And it's definitely not something where you wanna, it's not gonna be the best track performance thing out there. That's what the Z06 is for. It's a lot lighter. 
Um, it's got way more horsepower. I mean, not by much. I mean, it's only got around 20 more horsepower at the end of the day. Um, and it has less torque as well. The Z06, because it's a flat plane crank engine, it's actually got less torque than even the Stingray. And then this one obviously has even more torque than the Z06 as well. And I think a little bit more than the Stingray. Um, um, only to check that out and see exactly how much that does. Yeah, it adds an additional 125 pound feet of torque to the front wheels. So with that, once again, you're getting a big torque increase over the Z06. You're just 20 horsepower short of the Z06 as well. The biggest thing is that this one's weight, it is just heavier, right? Now, my first initial thought what I was thinking earlier today is, well, what if you modded this one with everything that's in my car? So what I have in my Stingray right now is it's modded up quite a bit and it's sitting right around 600 horsepower. Um, and with that, what if you then got the E-Ray and modded the E-Ray with everything that was in my car, you would probably, you would easily surpass that 20 horsepower that the E-Ray is short of, of the Z06. So you would be at Z06 horsepower level. You would be way past the torque of the Z06. Sure, it'd be heavier, but you'd have more power. So that's super interesting. Um, that would be really, really crazy. You'd have a, you'd definitely have a 700 horsepower um, Corvette, I'm pretty sure. You have pretty close to a 700 horsepower Corvette. If not, you would be there. So super interesting if anyone were to do that. I mean, you could literally just grab this E-Ray, put the mods that we've got in my car, and then you definitely easily gained a minimum of 20 horsepower and more than 20 torque. Um, you're going to be crushing it. The weight is the big thing. The other thing I don't love is some of the body styling stuff. Um, it is exactly like the Z06, and I love that. But the big thing for me is the wing. I feel like the wing just, I don't know, me personally, the wing just like offsets the whole thing and it looks awesome. Um, obviously, I got that on my Stingray, so I really liked it. Um, I liked it so much that I wanted it on my car and I, and I did it. So that's the other thing. Um, but overall, this is super cool. I really like how everything, um, I like how they're differentiating themselves and they're doing this. Like there's not much else out there, right? You've got the Acura NSX, which is now out of production. You've got, what, the Porsche 918 Spider, which is a totally different animal, but that's that's a hybrid as well. Um, Ferrari SF90 is a hybrid, but that's using a V6, I believe. Um, the new McLaren, I, I can't remember the name of it right now, but that's using a hybrid as well, but I think that's also a V6. This is a full naturally aspirated motor, the great motor that's in the Stingray, plus the battery system up front with that electric motor. So it's super cool. The weight's gonna be a big thing. Like, if you wanna track it, Definitely not. It's just it, probably going to be too heavy. You're probably going to want the Z06 or even a Stingray modded may even perform better than this on the track. I'm not sure, right? The weight is a big, big thing. It is way cheaper to increase the power than it is to decrease weight. Decreasing weight on a car is the hardest thing that you can do and it's the most expensive thing you can do. So adding power is obviously going to be cheaper than decreasing the weight. So super interesting. Um, personally, I would probably get the Z06 over this if I were to get it. I'm really happy with my Stingray where I'm at right now. I like that it's modded. It feels way more punchier than it did. I'm really happy with it. Um, the gain, like I said, probably right around, we're right around 600 horsepower right now. Um, and we're definitely pushing like five, probably close, close to 600 torque as well. Um, so we're really close, maybe 550 torque or so. Um, I don't quote me exactly on that. I talked about it in some previous videos, but I'm really happy where it's at. It's way punchier. You can totally feel the difference. Um, and it really didn't cost me that much money to get all the mods on. You can hear the difference. You can feel the difference. The numbers give you the difference. The zero to 60 time is super close to what's on the E-Ray, which is even faster than the Z06. My zero to 60 is as fast as the Z06's. Uh, the E-Ray, obviously with the electric motor and all wheel drive, it's gonna crush them which makes sense. So um, yeah, that's those are my kind of my thoughts on the 2024 E-Ray. What I'm really excited for is the ZR1 or the Zora. I don't know what they're gonna do with that. They could totally take the 5.5 liter um, naturally aspirated flat plane crank from the Z06 plus a motor, an electric motor up front or even a bigger one and really push that through the moon. The thing is the ZR1 is meant to be the track version as well, like right, the track monster even above the Z06, as we've seen with the last generation. But I don't know if they're gonna do that with the electric motor because it's gonna add a lot of weight. Maybe they'll do two variations, one with the electric motor, one without. 
Maybe they'll do a turbo or a supercharger. I'm not sure, but I'm really excited to see what that is. So let me know what your guys' thoughts are on the E-Ray. Let me know what you would pick. Would you get an E-Ray, Z06, or a Stingray? And then depending on which one you'd get, would you mod it? And would mods give you um, a different reason to get a different kind of car, right? I saw a video earlier today and they were saying that the Stingray is like a, it could be seen as more of like a builder's car, right? Like if you wanna build it and you wanna add more stuff to it, you can do it, whereas the Z06 is more buttoned up. It comes out of the package ready to go for you and you don't really want need or want to do anything. But with the C8 Stingray, you can kind of build it, you can really make it your own, you can upgrade it, you can up level it to the Z06 or even above that, right? If you like twin turboed it, and got a ton of other mods as well. So it's super interesting. Let me know what your guys' thoughts are. Let me know what you would take or if you would take a different car. I'm curious to hear what you guys think. And let me know if there's any other mods you think I should do to my car. I think I'm just about done with the power mods. I may want to add a couple other small things like cats, uh, high flow cats, uh, maybe an exhaust system just to get the power up there. I, I definitely want to be surpassing 600 and I think I'm just like right at that 600 mark, maybe a tad over or a tad under depending on the weather, conditions, stuff like that. Um, but yeah, let me know. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe for more content. I'm gonna be coming out with more stuff. And for those of you that don't know, just a quick PS, um, I run an online business and I talk all about business mindset um, and being successful on my channel as well. So check out those videos as well if you're interested in starting a business, growing a business, or just developing a really, really strong mindset so you can have really, really great success in your life. So check that stuff out. If you have any questions for me, please leave them below, whether it's business or cars. Curious to hear what you guys think, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Talk soon.